What is metabolic syndrome and what causes it? There are many names for metabolic syndrome. You may have heard some of them before. Some people call it resistance syndrome or syndrome X, which sounds super scary. These terms simply define the characteristics. For example, obesity, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, and high triglycerides in the blood are all characteristics of metabolic syndrome. Causes of metabolic syndrome. The main causes of metabolic syndrome are being overweight and being sedentary. Often being overweight is associated with a poor diet full of processed food, high in saturated fats, and other unhealthy ingredients. Add on being sedentary to that, and you have a recipe for metabolic syndrome. For some people, the cause is a third reason, which is insulin resistance. It simply means their body doesn't process sugars in their food properly. Symptoms of metabolic syndrome include large waist circumference, high blood pressure, high blood sugar, high bad cholesterol levels and low good cholesterol levels. The combination of disorders is considered a syndrome because they all essentially affect the same digestive and circulatory system. Because of this, everyone will have different symptoms depending on how long they've had the condition. You may have no symptoms yet and still be at risk, risk factors if you smoke are overweight and sedentary you're at high risk of developing metabolic syndrome and the co-conditions associated with it such as diabetes heart disease and stroke also you become more susceptible as you age if you want to reduce your risk factors you'll need to change your lifestyle don't worry it's not really all your fault you likely learned how you eat from your family and due to the sedentary lifestyle we live today, it's too much fat and sugar for your body to process. Treatments of Metabolic Syndrome Usually, treatment involves medication and or lifestyle changes. You'll have to decide with your doctor whether you'll use medications or not, but you will have to undergo lifestyle changes regardless of whether you medicate or not. The key to getting better is to eat right and move more. It's not as hard as it might seem to do that. Eating right consists of eating enough nutrient-rich foods that are low in saturated fats and avoiding processed food. Exercising means you need to move at moderate intensity at least 150 minutes a week. If you are concerned about your own prognosis, make an appointment with your doctor to get a full physical. Tell your doctor about your concerns and symptoms. They can help you find support groups and identify lifestyle changes that can make a huge difference in your recovery efforts and your future health.